right, so Deep Blue Sea 2, part 2. Somebody made a sequel to this movie. That's, that's amazing. I didn't think that the first one required a sequel at all. I think everything finished uh, pretty um, conclusively. But then again, of course, you know, it was 20 years ago and uh, nostalgia, I guess. I don't know. But anyways, this is where we're at now. Somebody made a sequel of Deep Blue Sea 2, and it wasn't even a sci-fi release, it wasn't even a limited release in theaters, it went straight to DVD and completely under the radar. I remember people announcing it uh, sometime last year, saying, oh, they were going to make a sequel to Deep Blue Sea 2, and I actually saw a bunch of people getting excited for this. Didn't really understand why, I guess it has some weird little fan base out there somewhere. Don't know, but um, I mean, yeah, I, I like the first one. You know, it's not it's not a bad movie. Uh, it's fun, like I said. Uh, but uh, does it really merit a sequel? Didn't think so. But yet here we are. So what does this one? What is this one about? Well, sharks check, lab check, and that's it. It's pretty much what the movie's about. Well, okay, I'll go into a little bit more detail with it. Okay, so apparently. It's hilariously bad. And it's not bad where, like Sharknado bad, where you're like, okay, yeah, this is f bad, but it's so much fun that it's bad. Uh, it's not that type of bad, it's bad. It is, it is some of the worst writing I've seen in a very, very long time. Um, so let's give you what the movie's about. So apparently, you remember in the first one, they were trying to develop an Alzheimer's drug because uh, sharks apparently don't get Alzheimer's or whatever, right? So in this one, they have sharks, but they're using them as guinea pigs for whatever odd reason. And the guy in charge, um, I forgot his name right now, but uh, he was in Stand By Me. He's a terrific actor. I always loved his work. Um, somehow he got sucked into this. And he plays this billionaire scientist, because as you know, all scientists are billionaires, trying to develop a drug. And this is the hilarious part. So why do you say, why, why does he want this drug, right? Is it to make more money? Is it, you know, uh, to cure disease? No, none of the above. He believes in his infinite knowledge that machines are going to rise up <clears throat> and overthrow mankind. So before that happens, He's developed this drug that untaps our ability, our unlimited brain neurons, or whatever the crap he wants to say it is this time. And that's why he's doing this. I kid you not. That is the plot of the movie. That's pretty much why all our characters are in the mess that they are. <sighs> And you can imagine some of the dialogue that takes place in this movie. It is hilariously awful. It is hilariously awful as to how off cue they are and where the lines are and all that. How none of it belongs where it belongs. It's just, oh, it's precious. It's just absolutely precious. Then we get to, now this is the part that I love. This is one of my favorite parts, actually. It's the name of the main character. So there is a marine biologist who specializes in sharks, of course. <laughs> Come on! So she's, uh, they drag her into this whole mess. And her name, are you ready for this? Is Mandy Calhoun. No, she's not a porn star. What the hell's wrong with you? I know Stormy Daniels is out there somewhere right now trying to, going, oh my god, that is the greatest porn star name ever. Stormy Daniels. Stormy Daniels is her name, okay? And she is jealous of Mandy Calhoun. Alright? That's... It's... Oh, it's beautiful. It's actually, it's like, it's a perfect storm of crap. It, it just really is. So, you know, how everything goes down is just really disastrous in itself. I mean, you can tell that they had almost little to no budget at all. The special effects are terrible. Um, how everything goes down, apparently a boat floats and then crashes into some crap and, you know, next thing you know, the whole 
uh, the whole facility loses power and the sharks then start going at it and and it, the whole first 20 or, or 30 minutes of the movie are, are they, they're trying to almost shot for shot uh, the original deep blue sea however how the events go down it's almost the exact same thing and it's just really it's really uh, like a, a WTF moment it's like why are why did this movie get made why did if, if you weren't adding anything new or trying something different or anything why did you make this movie and then if you didn't have the budget to make it how did this get happen? How did this get made? It's really, really bad. Really bad. And it just continues on like this with decision and choice. And not only the characters making decisions that don't make any sense, but the directing and the writing making choices that don't make any sense. Apparently one of the sharks is pregnant. And then we have baby sharks. Like a school of baby sharks. I don't... I don't I can't make this crap up this is what happens in the movie there's baby sharks now involved in this whole mess and it's all so terrible all of it is just like it's just it's just so bad yep so I'm gonna just gonna go I mean look if you're a fan of the original, which a lot of people are, it's kind of fun, like I said, it's got a good, interesting cast, good performances, but this movie is a perfect example of when you take a corny idea and don't get the right people involved, how bad it can be in comparison to the first one, which is pretty much the same premise. I mean, it's not that much different, you know, sharks, smart sharks, you know, uh, underwater facilities, sciences, crazy sciences, blah, blah, blah. It's pretty, it's pretty uh, similar. But here's the thing. The first one actually has people that are capable and good actors behind it. And the second one has a, 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 a bunch of folks that have no idea what the hell they're doing and terrible actors behind it. And you can see the vast difference between the two of them as to how bad that can be. So you get good people involved with a bad idea, it could still work. You get bad people involved with a bad idea and it's a disaster. It's really bad, guys. I mean, it is. I mean, it's not theatric or anything like that. So it's not like go out there and watch it or save your money, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I'm sure you'll come across it at some point in time. But believe me when I tell you, you don't need this. You really don't. It, you can just scroll on past it. It's okay. Just go pick up the first one watch it again. LL Cool J's in it. It's pretty funny. Even Michael Rappaport shows up. You know? It's a good time. You know? Samuel L. Jackson gives a pretty good speech. Good movie. So, my uh, final rating for this movie, without any question of it, it's an F, guys. This is a failure on every single level. Do not watch this movie. Just walk on past it. Re revisit the first one. Their special effects from 1999 are better. Yep. Yep. That's where we're at. All right? So... Thank you guys as usual for watching. Don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe, and visit my website at rathromanreviews.com.